Hey guys, Ivan here, and 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia, we have Chris Bumstead physique update. Already we have a good one, you can see a lot, it's pretty revealing, and it seems like Chris is getting in shape really quickly. Now, I watched his full of day eating video, and apparently he's eating 3800 calories. That is not a little, that is a lot of food. There are other top pro bodybuilders, open bodybuilders, who are eating way less, and who are weighing way more than him. So it, it looks like he's one of those genetic freaks who can get away with eating a lot of food. And also he has that kidney issue, so he cannot really eat a lot of protein. So a lot of those calories are coming from fats and carbs. So good for him, he's having probably an easy time. He's enjoying his prep and getting leaner by the day. So at 10 weeks out, he's in a really good shape. He doesn't look 10 weeks out, and probably he's gonna be cruising, he's gonna probably take it slower now, maybe even increase the calories so he doesn't lose the weight too fast, and he is actually gonna grow into the show. How is this possible, him being this big already, to grow into the show? Well, you guys know that he has that uh, autoimmune system disease, so he cannot push the gear too much in the offseason, and then when his prep starts, that's when he does that. And that's why he grows. He had 10 more pounds last year to add to his weight limit. So did he add those 10 pounds? Let's say he didn't add 10 pounds, but is he gonna be 3 pounds bigger? That's gonna be a huge gain. 3 pounds is a lot. I mean, go to the store and buy 3 pounds of chicken breast. And look at how much that is. That's a lot of muscle. That, that, that's a lot of weight, actually. So if he's 3 pounds bigger, and I think he will be, because he looks like this and his prep only just started, he's gonna be amazing at the Mr. Olympia. I'm not even talking about is he gonna win it, who can challenge this guy, nobody really, I'm just talking about how good will he be, and he's gonna be great, because right now he looks amazing. Also his caption says uh, bar is a little bit higher this year, so he wants to be even better, and what is his driving factor, trying to beat anybody? He basically has no competition, it's a, it's a one-man show, it's gonna be just him showing himself and then everybody else is battling for second, third and the other spots. Like, who can challenge him? Rob Diesel? No. Brian Ensley? Nah. Maybe, maybe Peter Molnar, but we don't know how he looks standing next to Chris. And in all likelihood, he's also not gonna be on that level, so probably not even him. Everybody else? Logan Franklin, Alex Hembronero? No, 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 I think Chris is in a league of his own and nobody can really challenge him this year, I think he's set in stone, unlike Big Remy, in my opinion, I think, I think Big Remy can be dethroned easily, but not Chris. So Chris, right now, at 10 weeks out, looks a rock hard, basically for 10 weeks out, and just watch him, well, just watch him progress, get bigger, fuller, rounder, and harder. I think he's gonna blow our minds at this year's Mr. Olympia, and crush a lot of people's dreams, and also probably demotivate a lot of us who are trying to do the classic physique and seeing him being this big, this freaking impressive I don't know, it seems pretty unrealistic actually even though classic physique seems uh, achievable for everybody I don't know if that's the case, I don't know I mean Chris, he's, he's huge actually he's really massive and all the mass he has is a very high quality kind of mass, kind of muscle so really an extraordinary physique 10 weeks out, he looks great. Alright, next we have uh, Jeremy Potwin, a former men's physique competitor, I think he was like top 4 at the Mr. Olympia, uh, making a transfer to classic physique. Why am I so interested in this guy? Why am I mentioning him so much? It's because he was absolutely amazing in, in men's physique. I always thought he had one of the craziest muscle bellies ever. That chest was just ridiculous, the back was also really good, and that small, tiny waist, it just made his physique look so impressive. And I always thought, if this guy had good legs, he would make a really good bodybuilder, or a classic, classic bodybuilder, classic physique guy, whatever. So finally he decided to make that leap. And in these photos that he's posting, he's not really looking that good, but he's trying. He's trying to gain more muscle in the legs and to learn how to pose. And I'm curious, I'm really curious, because these photos, when he was in man's physique, when he gets shredded and when he peaks for the shows, it just looks extraordinary. The kind of muscle that he has, the hardness, the deep cuts, really deep separations. It just looks really impressive, really freaky, so I was always curious what would it look like if he actually made that transfer and he did it properly, 
if he got maximum out of himself for the classic physique and now he's doing it hopefully he will push his body to the limits and he will do everything it takes like learn how to pose learn how to pose well get conditioned grow the legs grow try to grow the calves i know that's pretty much a mission impossible if you don't have good genetics but he can improve them at least a little and he should do that and you know come in a good shape come bigger because he has a lot of room to grow he, ha he is far behind his weight limit so that's gonna be an interesting transformation and i'm curious to see him probably like next year i don't know what his plans are for competing but whatever happens it's gonna be very interesting Next up we have this uh, crazy Russian or Ukrainian kid who is uh, <laughs> just an enormous bodybuilder and he's like 24, 25, something crazy like that. And he gave us some information about how big his arms actually are. And they are 53 centimeters and he's 175 centimeters tall. So in this photo also right here he looks massive. I mean, the arms are looking really big and thick and round and also the chest. And overall, he's a huge bodybuilder. I'm really curious what he's gonna look like once he finally manages to turn pro. And that's gonna happen, no doubt about that. It's kind of the same thing with Nick Walker. It was a similar situation. So back when Nick was an amateur, everybody expected him to turn pro because he had everything. He just needed more time to get the maturity. It's the same thing with uh, Good Vita right here. And he probably looks even more impressive. He <laughs> looks humongous. I mean, this looks photoshopped, and it's not photoshopped, I saw the videos. Maybe it is a little bit, but nonetheless, he is really impressive. I mean, look at the arms and the lats popping at a small waist, and those legs, I don't know. I mean, if this is not really photoshopped, I mean, I saw videos, so he is huge, but is he really this big? I don't know about that. Anyways, it's besides the point. What is the point here is that he is gonna make a great professional bodybuilder one day, potentially even, maybe I can see it. I can't say it's it's crazy to say that he might win the Mr. Olympia one day because he has all the tools necessary. We'll see what's going to happen with this guy, but uh, keep in mind, guys, he, he has a lot of potential. And potential is probably not the best word to use. He has everything. He has all the tools. He just takes a little bit more time of carving out uh, those those deep, finer details. Sergio Oliva Jr. So he is eight weeks out of Arnold Classic and every post he makes, he looks so much more impressive. He looks super impressive right now. Look at the size of this freaking guy. It really seems like he's growing into the show. Is that really what's happening? I don't think so. I think he's just getting leaner and better. He's probably just changing the kind of gear that he's using and he's looking more and more impressive every time he posts a photo. And it feels like this is gonna be the best Sergio Oliva Jr. we have seen so far. And uh, I think his placement is gonna be better than the last time. Last time he was fifth. And that Arnold Classic, it was great Arnold Classic. Don't get me wrong, it was a good, good lineup. But this year's Arnold Classic is something else. This year's Arnold Classic is probably one of the best in like, I don't know, in, in many years. One of the best Arnold Classics ever, potentially, if these guys really bring it. So we'll see how well will Sergio do. I'm really curious to see him next to Nick Walker because of all the beef that they had. But right now, Sergio looks massive. I was just looking at this photo and I thought I could use these elbow sleeves for my knees. Probably. <laughs> That's how big he is. He's just enormous right now. And finally, I have something interesting. It is interesting. I know a lot of you won't like it, a lot of you will dislike the video for it and unsubscribe from my channel, but a lot of you will find it very interesting because it seems like Kai Green's situation is actually legit. Now it seems like he's actually gonna be competing. So this is the, the video that he posted and he looks good, he looks leaner than last time. He does. He's doing cardio and everything. Why do I think it's legit? Let me show you. Uh, so I've got a, uh, I've got a message that we go. I can't say who it's from, but it seems like the Kai Green situation is legit and he's going. Who did you message? I, I'm not telling you who, but well, yeah. what? this is coming straight out of Camp Red Con. That's where this. Oh, of course from. it is. <laughs> of course it is. I put two and two together. I just want to know exactly who. He, uh, it's apparently it's a green green light. I well, just listen, go, green I, light. I have, but... I have something to tell you guys after the podcast, so we'll, we'll talk about it when we're done recording. But you heard it here first. That's what we're trying to say. <laughs> well, there you go. You guys know that Ben Chow was a part of uh, Redcon 1, and I think he's in really good terms with those guys still. 
And somebody from that crew told Ben that uh, Kai is actually gonna be competing. And Kai is sponsored by Redcon 1. So is this really happening? This is the video that Kai sent to Dave Palombo. RX Muscle posted it uh, with, with Kai's permission. Of course, he wanted this out. It's a posing video. It's not a four, it's a posing video. And you can see that he didn't lose anything, really. He's just as massive as he was 2016. And as the show is approaching, he's gonna get better and better. I have no doubts. So I don't know if he's gonna be competing or not. But if he's ever gonna be competing, it's gonna be this year. Because he is spot on. He is huge. He's getting in good shape. And he's practicing posing, doing cardio, everything. And now we have this confirmation from Ben Chow. Or from somebody from Redcon 1. I don't think these guys would be saying stuff like this if they weren't sure about it. By the way, if you guys watched the show with Fuad, uh, you saw that Ben Chow was really cranky at that show, really on edge. And uh, after that show, I think a day or two, he went to the hospital and his liver and kidneys were not fine. Function was very, very low. So he ended up in a hospital because I don't know why, but I do know that he was prepping for a show and that he was eating like 1500 calories, which is really low for a guy of his size. So maybe it's that, maybe it has nothing to do with that, I don't know. But he, yeah, he's not good and he decided to quit the prep. But back to the point, Kai Green situation seems to be legit. Based on Ben Chow, based on whoever from Redcon 1 most likely. So you guys go ahead and tell me what do you think is gonna happen. It seems like it is. With time it seems more like it's gonna happen. I would love it to happen, you guys know that, I'm sure everybody would love it. Let's hope for the best, let's be optimistic guys. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please like it, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. All the best and bye bye.